All right, so this is why I've not been on YouTube for quite some time. Uh, I've been working on this. This is my solar powered cabin. Uh, I have 10 235 watt sharp solar panels. Uh, only nine of them are actually running. The, uh, the closest one there, I guess I just have that there for looks. Anyway, let me show you the rest of the system. Alright, so that's the, uh, the Outback Mate. This is the computer that uh, controls the invert charge controller and everything. Right now I'm selling 500 watts. Uh, this is a grid interactive system. Uh, and uh, so I'm able to right now I'm producing nearly 1700 watts of power and for the day 6.6 uh, .6 kilowatt hours and it shows you how much you're using how much you're actually inverting and uh, so we'll go outside and take a look at the rest of it so let's see here let me uh, let me turn that fan off. All right, uh, made the video before, but you couldn't hear. Uh, that fan was just too loud, so I'll come back in here. But see, right now the charge controller uh, is the 60 amp, and it's saying 1.6 kilowatts of power uh, charges the batteries, and then from there the surplus, as it floats the batteries, uh, can go into this 3,000 watt 48 volt. Outback grid tied inverter. Now grid tied means that when the power goes out, I run off the batteries. And uh, I'm near some neighbors here that uh, I'm able to pull power at nighttime, and then I'll push power during the day. And uh, that right there, uh, that's the communications where they all come in. Basically a router for it. But uh, if I have cloudy days, I can actually uh, turn the charger on here, and it will charge these batteries. These are Trojan T105 RE batteries, and um, they, uh, I'm doing a 48-volt system. I also have a backup 12-volt system, but uh, when, when it's topped off, then it takes the surplus, and it, I, I'm selling it to them and I'm actually sending them more power during the day than than I use uh, at night time and I could send more um, I only had some 12 gauge wire and with the run and the voltage drop um, it's, uh, it's really not good and then I'm sure I'll get comments saying oh, you're supposed to use 8 gauge wire for that dis I know just whatever <laughs> These things cost money. I uh, also set this up for a separate generator in uh, the inverter, but you can run the generator too through that. So if you needed to charge your batteries, you could use a grid or a, a generator, uh, either one. And so um, there's that. And let's step outside for a second. And here is, this was in another video that I did. There we go, 124 degrees. Um, I started filming this probably about 15 minutes ago it was 111 uh, this I'll put a link up for you to go to uh, this but this is a thermosite system and the way it works is you've got a hose top hose in the bottom and it goes out to this panel it's out of focus there we go so the panel uh, the rise in it allows the cold water to rise as it heats up and then it pushes the water back into this and uh, have nice hot water. Alright, so this is the mess that I live in now. My kitchen is in the living area. The kitchen actually has my dirty laundry and can't live without ramen noodles. So I head up to the loft. And there is my highly inefficient computer. Um, the the uh, the system that I have is able to run all this very very well, and uh, I'm uh, running an air conditioner. 78 degrees in here right now. Uh, I think it's nearly 90 outside. Let's see here, 80, 87 outside. So anyway. Um, let me know what you think. I also 
figured it'd be uh, clever to uh, hang my my bed from from the ceiling because I can't do anything normally. Anyway, this is what I've been up to. Um, I hope to uh, get a little bit more in depth, but I wanted wanted to give people an idea of what I've been why I haven't posted a video in, in a while. It's uh, because I've been uh, working on this. Anyway, have a wonderful day.